Intel Labs Europe is uh, Intel's platform for research and innovation in Europe. It's a network that really connects all the different labs that we have in the region. The idea was to connect better an extensive network of research, innovation and product labs that Intel had in Europe, to connect them internally more effectively, but equally important to connect them as an entity to the European ecosystem. No future is created by one company. It's a collaborative effort. It's going to take the cooperation of people from academia to government to various industries. So we want to put these ideas out there and other people to get excited about them, but also to help them to start think about how we think about the future of technology and how we can come into better alignment so that we can all work together in order to make these things a reality. The reality in today's technology world is that there are multiple players in an ecosystem that move a technology base, a usage base, an application base forward. And governments have a very important role in that ecosystem. We've seen an extensive and considerable improvement in how Intel is engaged with the European ecosystem. Intel is a leading technology company and a lot of innovation which are used today by everybody in the world have uh, uh, been initiated in Intel Labs. So we're working together to create shared value to accelerate our collective R&D efforts so we can turn great research into great products, great revenue, and better quality of life for, for Europeans and beyond. At Intel Labs, we do research, but the intent of that research is to impact real products or different technologies and standards in the ecosystem. So we have processes in place to help guide those different projects from the labs into the product groups. It has been helping me to link the development activities that we are doing in our labs to the Intel's research agenda. I think the collaboration is really fundamental between the academia and the industry because uh, what we really need is that to, to really bridge the theory to practice. We need to build this collaboration even more for the Horizon 2020. We need to um, give incentives to the academia uh, to, to, to work more on the concrete application scenarios rather than uh, fully theoretical aspect of the, let's say, networking, what mobility, smart cities. We could establish projects with government. We could access Intel technology, which is even not published. We could work with this uh, uh, Intel technology that is going to be the next generation of, for example, embedded systems or mobile systems. We could attract big companies that are interested to work with us because we are doing future research. So this is something that you cannot generate purely at, in academic area because in academia we don't have funder foundries to make systems to build uh, uh, chips. Um, this is a big uh, opportunity for us. One of the key mechanisms that we're using in Intel Labs Europe is, is this new paradigm, Open Innovation 2.0. At the heart of that is creating shared vision and shared value. One of the key tactics is the idea of quadruple helix innovation, the idea that governments, industry, academia and citizens working together, we can drive structural changes and benefits far beyond the scope of what we can do on our own. So we put more and more of our efforts into thinking about the user experience, thinking even beyond that about sustainable, intelligent living, that people will adopt the innovations that we create because they offer a better service, because they offer more convenience, but also they're thinking actually generically because they're more resource efficient, that they're more sustainable. So it's a great place for a collaboration, finding common needs, and, and really understanding in a day-to-day in -day level what the Intel research agenda is about and how we, uh, different players can help with that. A measure of success in, in future is that we have developed a portfolio of solutions based on new Intel platforms that are enabling a better quality of life for people, but indeed they also are more resource efficient and we've helped Europe and indeed the world get onto a more sustainable trajectory for the future.